Hello students, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will study the stereoregular polymers. Okay, first we will understand what is stereoregular polymers. Now, in the polymers, if you have a regular arrangement of the monomers, then we call it as a stereoregular polymers. Okay, if the monomers unit in the polymer chain having regular arrangement then we call it as a stereoregular polymers okay if you consider this is a polymer chain uh, we know that in the polymer chain we will be having the monomer units right so if the monomer units are having some specific arrangement or specific configuration in the polymer chain we call such polymer as a stereoregular polymers okay now this stereoregularity in the polymer is arising because of it may be because of optical isomerism, okay, optical isomerism or it may be because of the geometrical isomerism, okay. These are the two factors uh, that will uh, determine the stereoregularity of the polymer, okay. Now, in this class, uh, we will mainly focus on the optical isomerism in the polymers and in the next video, we will talk about the geometrical isomerism, okay. So, I write optical isomerism. Now, we know that if any compound is optically active, okay, if any compound is optically active, then that compound must have an asymmetric carbon center, right? Asymmetric carbon center should be present in a compound to tell that uh, compound is an optically active. Just like that, in the polymer also, if we have asymmetric carbon, then that a particular polymer will exhibit the optical isomerism. Now, for example, if you consider polyethylene, okay, if you consider polyethylene, it can be represented like this. It is simple polymer that is having only hydrogen attached to the carbon, right? So, the repeating unit here is uh, um, ethylene. So, I'm writing this structure showing all hydrogen attached to the carbon. Okay, this is the polyethylene structure. Now, so here you can see that the hydrogen that is attached to the carbon, even though I, I, I am interchanging, that means if I write this such here and this such here, the structure do not change right it remains the same since uh, the hydrogen are indistinguishable here right so even though i am replacing the uh, hydrogens from here to here the structure do not change that means uh, we do not get the asymmetric carbon okay what is asymmetric first of all asymmetric carbon means if you consider a carbon see if the groups or the substituents that is present around this carbon is different then we call it as an asymmetric carbon okay if uh, for example this is uh, uh, say x group this is y and this is z and say this is some um, uh, w okay if all the substituents that is present around this carbon is different then that particular carbon will be asymmetric carbon it is represented by c star okay so c star is our asymmetric carbon but look here whether we have asymmetric carbon no because here the groups attached to this carbon is same here also hydrogen here also hydrogen so it cannot be as, uh, showing an optical isomerism but now suppose if i replace the h group in the ethylene unit by the r okay what i am doing i am replacing replacing hydrogen in where in ethylene in every ethylene unit, where is our ethylene unit? This is the ethylene unit, okay? This is ethylene and this is the second ethylene. This is the third ethylene. And similarly, we have many ethylene units in the polyethylene, right? So, now I'm doing, uh, I'm replacing the one hydrogen in the ethylene unit by some R group, okay? Here, R group may be alkyl CH3 or it may be Cl or it can be Cn, okay? Whenever I replace this, uh, H, any H in this uh, ethylene by R group, I end up with a different polymer, right? So, suppose if I replace, say, I am replacing this H by CH3. 
okay and here also i am replacing this h by ch3 here also i am replacing by ch3 so which polymer i end up i do not end up with the polyethylene right if i have ch3 it is called as polypropylene right so if i have cl what's the name of the polymer it is a uh, polyvinyl chloride and if i have cn here here and here then what do i call polyvinyl nitrile right or cyanide now i just uh, write that h h c h and here i have right r okay i write r here h h i'm replacing any one of the hydrogen in the ethylene group by the r okay here i'm replacing it r by r okay here h h c h the r okay okay now here r can be any of this okay i end up with a different polymer right i do not end up with poly uh, polyethylene if i replace the uh, h by r now if you see here this polymer whether this carbon is an asymmetric center no because here also hydrogen here also hydrogen so this carbon is not an asymmetric center but what about this carbon the here it is hydrogen this is an r different group and here also you have different group and this is also a different group so this is our asymmetric carbon okay what about this this is not asymmetric carbon here hydrogen here also hydrogen okay to tell it is an asymmetric carbon all the four group attaches should be different okay what about this one this is an asymmetric carbon this is not asymmetric and this is our asymmetric so asymmetric carbon is present where it is present in a, or it is a present in alternative carbon right so you can see it is present in alternative carbon so this particular polymer will exhibit a optical isomerism okay now if i write the zigzag uh, structure of this uh, it look like this uh, let me write So this is a zigzag structure of the C. I write the, the groups that is attached to the carbon. Here it is only hydrogen. Here also it is hydrogen and here you have R and this hydrogen and here you have R, uh, yes, sorry. Why I am writing dotted? Because I wanted to tell you is that this carbon, CC single bond is there, no? that is present on the plane of the paper. While this H is present uh, above the plane, while these uh, dotted line is there, no? that is indicating it is present below the plane of the paper. Okay, here you have hydrogen, here it is R, here it is H, here it is, here also H, and here you have H, this is R okay so here these c c single bond is there no? that is present in the plane of paper and this h are present above the plane while this r is present below the plane of the paper okay now since this particular uh, polymer once you replace hydrogen in the polyethylene via r that polymer is now on uh, show exhibit the optical isomerism now each site okay each these sides are there you know that will exhibit either d or l okay either d or l type of isomerism that will depends upon uh, whether r group is present above the plane or below the plane of the paper okay each asymmetric center will exhibit either d or l type of isomerism that depends on what that depends on whether this r group present above the plane or whether it is present below the plane of the paper okay in the plane of paper what you have you have c single bond c okay now further this will give rise to three different type of isomeric structure okay there will be three different different uh, type of isomeric structure that again depends upon the arrangement of r in the polymer chain okay there will be three different types of isomeric structure that depends on what how the r group is arranged okay uh, first let me write the structure here this is the first uh, isomeric structure so here you can see the r group 
present below the plane of the paper while the here r group present above the plane of the paper okay if all the r group is present on same side if all the r group is present on same side of the plane of the paper then it is called an isodactic okay whether it is present below the plane of paper or whether it is present above the plane of paper okay if all the group should be present on the same side then it is called as isotactic okay now second isomeric structure is a syndiotactic okay here you can see that r group is present alternatively above and below okay here it is present above here it is below here it is above and in the next structure it will be present below like that okay so such a, a polymer is called a syndiotactic okay uh, here r group will be present alternatively above and below the plane of paper and the last one is the ataxic or heterotactic polymer here r group is uh, present in alternative uh, uh, sorry alter, uh, not in alternative sorry random direction okay i mean random way in ataxic or heterotactic polymer the r groups are present in a random way okay there is no proper arrangement it is present in a random way so it is called as an ataxic or heterotactic polymers okay now if you look into the formula chemical formula of these polymers are same right so what is the formula of this isotactic if i write the uh, uh, chemical formula it is something like this ch2 ch r right so this is the formula and what about the syndiotactic uh, formula ch2 ch r right this is the formula what about this one ch2 ch and r right this is the uh, formula or chemical uh, formula of the polymer uh, look like ch2 chr what about this this is also same and here also same even though the chemical uh, formula is same their uh, arrangement is different okay the arrangement of r is different okay because of the different configuration of this r their properties are also different that means the property of isotactic is different from that of syndiotactic and that is different from ataxic okay it, usually the ataxic polymer is there no the ataxic polymer will have lower melting point and also it is uh, you know amorphous in nature okay the ataxic polymers are having lower melting point it is amorphous and it is uh, softer and also it is easily soluble in solvent okay easily soluble in solvents while the isotactic is uh, reverse of this ataxic that means uh, here it is having higher melting point and uh, here it is crystalline in nature and it is hard and it is not soluble easily okay while syndiotactic property of syndiotactic is in between in between or intermediate between that of ataxic and isotactic okay so these properties are because of the different arrangement of r group in the polymer so this is the optical isomerism uh, in the uh, polymers okay in the next video we will study the geometrical isomerism so first we will understand once again what is the stereo regular stereo regular means what here monomer units are present in some regular arrangement then it is called a stereo regular okay so it is arising because of optical isomerism and the geometrical isomerism so in this video we studied this one optical isomerism optical uh, isomerism is arising if there is an asymmetric center in the polymers okay if i take an example of polyethylene there is no asymmetric center so this do not exhibit a optical isomerism and suppose if i replace any of the hydrogen in the ethylene unit by the r group then that polymer will be uh, having asymmetric center then that will be optical isomerism now depending upon the position of this r group in the polymer chain we will be having three different type of isomeric structure the one is isotactic then we have syndiotactic and the last one is a ataxic okay even though their chemical structure is same uh, because of their different configuration we will be having the different properties okay ataxic polymers are having lower melting point they are amorphous in nature and they are soft and they are easily soluble in the solvent 
but isotactic is having higher melting point crystalline in nature and they are hard and not soluble easily okay the property of syndiotactic will be in between atactic as well as isotactic polymers okay if you have any doubt in this uh, optical isomerism please let me know in the comment section okay so if you have liked this video please don't forget to like the video thank you for watching